President Trump is the president that has been ordained, nominated by the Lord, prophesied, prophesied all the way from King Clement's days, and over a thousand prophets still hang on to around the world, prophetic voices, whether known or not known, that he's, that he's in. And then the voting, anybody who's seen the actual information, why it's hidden, why you can't see the normal public, cannot see the information, why you cannot be exposed to the, uh, to the actual uh, voting feedback, and it gets blocked even by the Supreme Court, is because it'll show you that he won over 70% of the vote and 49 of the 50 states. So he won. He is, he is sanctioned in heaven, on earth, and he's here. But we have somebody else. So in back to David's day, he didn't just Saul died and then David's in. It didn't happen that way. That David will be the top of what President Trump is, is called to be, we'll say, even in his, in his second term. But it says that Abner, who was captain of Saul's host, he brought in Saul's son, Ishbosheth, and his name means man of shame. And Ishbosheth became the king for two years. Wow. He was the king right there. And so it looked like the prophet Samuel was wow. wrong. David was only accepted as king by Judah. Guess who's the only ones in the body of Christ accepting President Trump as king right now, the tribe of Judah. If you can go in the spirit, if you can see what's in heaven, who's sitting in the throne, go up and look at the presidency seat in heaven, see who's there. It ain't Biden. It's Trump. 